guys welcome back to my channel um <laughs> so this week's vlog is starting a bit weird i'm not gonna lie so basically everyone knows i'm at uni in it like i'm in my com but um how do i put this <laughs> i'm going home i'm going home i'm leaving uni um not in a permanent way don't worry but basically like um it's november time so it's like i don't know what today's date is it's like the 27th i think it's the 27th of november and we finished for, for um christmas on the 11th but we don't we finish on like the 16th but like the last week of uni is just a revision week so you don't actually have to go so i was gonna go home on the 11th and this time like normally i get the train home um but obviously because i'm staying for christmas for a longer period of time i'm taking my car with me because like when I'm in London I need my car like to get around and stuff and to go visit my dad and stuff like that so um yeah so this time I was obviously gonna drive back to London do the two hour drive again but um yeah I was gonna basically I don't know what happened yeah yesterday just something came with me like guys you already know from my previous vlogs I've really been telling you so I don't like uni like I find it so depressing I'm sad like more off like way more often than usual i've cried way more times than i have in like these past few months than i have in like the entire of last year i would say um but then yesterday i don't know what came over me i literally just had a mental breakdown i was so upset i was so i was so upset i was literally crying and i realized yeah no i need to get out of this environment because basically like with uni first of all i don't even understand because all the stuff that we learn first of all you learn things before you go to lecture so the work is there online on this um online page called canvas and you learn the work before you get to lecture and in the lecture they will tell you go over that work that you just went a little bit depending on what module it is and then they'll go over some they'll go with some new content but like all of it is recorded online so like if you miss the lecture you can still watch it again online like everything's online even the discussion board to ask questions is online it's all anonymous so i was just like why am i forcing myself to stay to wait two weeks until i can go home when clearly it's affecting my mental health because yesterday like that i've never experienced that before like obviously i'm always sad but that one it felt like it more felt like I was sad for no reason. Not for no reason, but like just sadness came over me. I was just so upset, but like nothing actually triggered it, if that makes sense. Like nothing actually happened. I'd even just got back from bowling with my friends. Like at least you went out and the day was fine and then all of a sudden just sadness and it just stuff like that, it just doesn't run with you because it's not natural, it's not normal. So as soon as something like that is happening, I'm just like, you know, that is a sign that there's something wrong with this environment and I need to I need to leave it and I need a break from it. I feel like I would work better at home because I would be less depressed. Also, I'm tired of buying flipping groceries every week. Like, I, I want to go home and my mum buys all the groceries again and I can act like a little bit of a child again. But yeah, I literally, last night as I was having a mental breakdown, I literally went underneath my bed, got all of my um, suitcases out. I was like, yeah, no, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. But in the moment, I felt like, it felt really like spontaneous and irrational because obviously when you're doing things, when you're in your feelings, it feels like, okay, like, I'm not, how do I explain it's like, I'm a, I'm woke, like, although I was upset, and I really badly wanted to go home, I knew that, like, a part of the reason why I was so desperate to go home is because obviously I'm upset, and I'm not thinking right, so, like, although I'm upset, I'm aware that I'm not thinking rationally, so I was like, okay, cool, although I'm getting all my bags out, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna sleep on it, pray on it, wake up, call my mum, see what she says, and then I'll decide, if I actually want to go home because obviously to go home is a bit of a last minute thing for me to just decide that I'm going home especially when I'm driving and obviously um when I was going to go home on the 11th I was going to go home with Jessica so she was going to drive with me so then I wouldn't be alone on the drive whereas if I go home today I'm going home by myself and I've literally only done that drive from London to Birmingham once and I was with my mum so then it's like the second time that I'm ever doing a long journey like that I'm just doing it by myself which is a bit scary so I was like let me just make sure that when I'm in my correct state of mind and I'm no longer like flared up and upset and having a breakdown then i can think rationally about it so um yeah today i woke up this morning i didn't feel as strongly that i wanted to go home obviously because i'm not like upset in this present moment in time but when but i had a moment to like assess the pros and cons of going home and i just concluded like yeah like let me go home also i can like with my agency there's so many shifts happening but they're all happening like if i go home on the 11th i would miss all the all the good shifts like i basically not um 
like I won't be able to work because if I go home now I would have to come book bare shifts like there's just so many pros of going home but it's just mad because like if I go home now I'm literally not gonna come back here until January so I'll literally be out of this place for five whole weeks so a part of me is scared that like because I'll be at home for so long I'll get used to that environment and then when I come back to uni again I'll it'll be like the first week of uni all over again but at the same time I just feel like it's what needs to be done for mental health guys because I, I just don't play around with that stuff like if something's making me upset to that extent it's like no like that's not normal like it shouldn't be normalized to just be depressed at uni i'm so sorry like i just don't understand why some things in life is normalized that like, oh yeah it's normal like everyone gets depressed at uni like no that's not that's not normal i'm not gonna sit here in in sadness and stuff just because oh yeah it's a new stage of life and it's expected and da 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 like no i take myself out of the situation oh i spoke to my mum and she was just like okay as long as it doesn't affect your learning like as long as you can still access all your work online from home and you can do all your lectures then do what you need to do for your mental health and i was just like yeah i gotta go but yeah i need to go tell jess because i feel bad i was literally supposed to drive both of us home on the 11th and then now i'm just like see ya i'm going home now and i literally decided at 2 a.m last night and today's is 10 30 right now so it's like such a spontaneous decision i'm gonna clean my room so that when i come back i come back to like a, a clean room and yeah that's how this week is starting it's starting with me calling it quits i'm joking i'm not i'm not dropping out of uni i'm just taking a break <laughs> I've not bought that much clothes, but the thing is, I'm staying there for five weeks, it's making me feel like I should take this whole entire wardrobe. If anything, I could just order like a top or something. I bought all my cargoes, all my favourite pairs of jeans, all my joggers, so I should be good. So all my stuff is here. This is all my dirty laundry that I didn't wash here because I wanted to wash it at my house for free. <laughs> um, this has got all my shoes in it, and this has got all my clothes in it. Luckily as well, all my toiletries is at home, like my toothbrush, all of that stuff. I just had to make sure I bring my contact lenses, my glasses, and all that stuff. But yeah, I just remember just now that I was said to load. I said to my mum, I said to JJ, my uncle, that I would bring them bag juice, but I don't have any. So before I go on my journey, I'm gonna have to make a quick stop at um, what do you call it? at the grocery store to get a hell of bag juice because I even want it for myself so I'm just gonna go there quickly and buy that as well um and yeah I'm really hungry right now I need to go drink like I need to drink a coffee first of all so I can stay awake on the road um but I think for breakfast I'm probably just gonna grab a Greg sausage roll it's currently 11 30 and I'm trying to leave at one so I have like an hour and a half oh I have better time in fact I could probably even go get bag juice and come back rather than going on the way because I literally have time and I also need to get petrol as well because I think I only have like a quarter of a tank left um so guys I might have a slight addiction to bag G's I literally just went to the shop to get bag G's and he literally was asking me oh do you want the wholesale one because he saw me pick up bears he's like oh do you want the wholesale this guy gave me a massive packet and then I got extras as well and I'm taking it home but guys I'm actually so excited to go home thankfully Jess is coming with me so I'm not actually driving alone anymore um she's quickly packing her stuff and she's gonna come with me we're both out of here man we're tired of this um but yeah I just got some lunch stuff i need to get a bag for this actually just have some lunch on the way i'm an idiot because i showed you what that bag juice and then i realized i don't know why i even brought it back upstairs and it's going to go back downstairs into my car so there was actually no need to bring that back upstairs i could have just stayed in my car but guys i am so happy with the amount of bag juice i have here like that guy is my new favorite guy like literally basically on the shelf they only had three red ones and red is my favorite red and orange and then i was like to him oh um he was asking me oh you got enough bag juice and i was like wait do you have more red ones and he went to the back brought out this whole wholesale bag and he's like do you want the wholesale bag and i was like yeah why not because the wholesale bag is 770 don't know how much is in the bag but i think at least 10 um and then i got some extra orange ones they have a green flavor which I've never tried before, I've never seen before. Even he was like, I've never seen the green one. So that should be nice. But now I've got enough bad juice to supply me, my family, my mum, my dad, my grandma. <laughs> okay. Tell them, guys, we have. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Yeah. Yeah, that was sick. <laughs> okay. Our bags are very. <laughs> Very full. <laughs> Guys, 
guys, I'm at home. Are you dumb? Guys, guys. <laughs> I am at home. <laughs> I'm so excited. Guys, I don't think you understand. Lord knows how happy I am right now. Like, how much I've wanted to be at home. Like, I, like look, guys, it's my bed. It's my bed. Oh, we basically just got back. I basically had to drop Jessica home first. And then I just got home, came upstairs, dropped all my stuff down. And I just kind of found looking for parking. I don't know if I've explained this to you guys before, but the parking in my area is so trash. Like, I've gotten so used to Birmingham where I can literally park anywhere for free. Whereas in my area, it's like one road that's free. Well, not free, but I have a permit. I have a permit, but the road where I have a permit for, there's not many of them nearby. So then... If everyone has a permit, then like basically the spaces get filled up really quickly. So usually there's not space. But I was I was going around the circles trying to find a space. Found a space. I was happy. I was so happy to be home. I had a safe journey. Thank God. I was a bit scared though because <coughs> I was a bit scared because basically the whole point was I was trying to leave at one o'clock um, so that I could get home in about two hours and a half and basically get home around like 3 30 so that because the sun sets at four so i was trying to get home before the sun sets i didn't want to drive on the motorway in the night time um but then because i miss because jessica woke up late um she didn't see my message about asking her if she wants to come with me until like later so she had to like basically get ready real quick so then we didn't leave until like two so then but then i didn't mind leaving later and being in the dark as long as I'm with someone. I just didn't want to drive on a motorway in the dark by myself. But because I'll be with her, then I didn't mind waiting for her, like leaving a bit later. So anyways, we left a bit later. So the sun basically set while we was driving. So like for the last like hour, I would say, for the journey, it was dark. Which wasn't that bad, but then it started raining. And guys, nighttime driving plus rain is the worst combo. I hate it. I hate driving at night. And I hate driving at night when it's raining. I hate driving in the rain as well. Basically, I hate driving at night. I hate driving in the rain. So when the two are together, I just I just don't want to be in my car. I just want to get home like ASAP. So it started raining, but it wasn't too bad. Like it was manageable rain. And it only started like proper pouring it down when I'd already got to my area. So like I knew where I was going. I just didn't want to be on like the M1 or something. It would pour it down rain and it's just very scary because you're going 30 miles per hour and stuff. So yeah, um the journey was smooth. I actually didn't even stop at a service station again. This time I thought I would stop at a service station because all I've eaten is one sausage roll today, I can't lie. I bought a whole, guys, for the journey, I literally had a whole lunch lunch pack with me. It's so weird how I could just vlog, like, so loudly because my flipping flatmates aren't going to hear me talking. So I can actually just talk as freely as possible in this house because this is a vlogger's house, right? This is the house of Amina Abib and Tanya Hines where content creating is normal. Anyways, I had a whole, like, guys, I don't think you understand how many snacks are in here some bag juices in here as well um i literally have bloody crisp lindor um bigger yum yums from greg's hella stuff ask me if i ate any of that the only thing i ate on that journey was a mr kipling but everything else like i thought i would stop i thought i was gonna stop at a service station i don't know why i thought i would stop because last time i didn't stop but i thought this time no surely i'll stop i didn't stop so yeah i haven't eaten I just done the journey straight um there was a few times i was tempted to come off at the service station because i saw mcdonald's but then i thought let me just carry on going let me just carry on going and i'm glad i did to be honest because i'd rather just wait till i get home but yeah i'm so happy to be here guys tomorrow is monday the rest of the night i'm literally just gonna chill and watch netflix honestly i need a break from it all i'm gonna do netflix and then tomorrow i go back to work i'm gonna pretend like not pretend i'm at uni but like because i don't think the lectures are live but as soon as they upload the powerpoint I'll do it. Hopefully they don't take long to upload each PowerPoint. So let's like, say if I'm meant to have a lecture at 10 a.m. at around 10 a.m. the lecture would finish at 11. Let's say by 12, surely they should have uploaded the PowerPoint. And at 12, I make sure to do that lecture. Like, I'm not gonna fall behind behind on my work, guys. Like, don't worry. I forgot how nice the lighting is in here. Like, oh gosh. The only thing is, I have a parcel. Basically, Manuel Devoir. Basically, for my birthday, my friends, they're so sweet. They got me a gift card for Manuel Devoir. Basically, I've been waiting for their Black Friday sale because obviously, if I wait for the sale, then I can get more stuff with my gift card compared to if I buy it normally at normal price and then the black friday still happens so i ordered a few stuff but normally i ordered it to my accommodation in birmingham not thinking that i was, obviously wasn't planning to come home today like this was actually a spontaneous thing that i decided last night so now my parcel's going there but i wanted to create a tiktok with that with that um 
with that order like do a haul so um, basically Philip my other flatmate he's still in Birmingham he's basically gonna take it for me and then hopefully when he comes to London I can go and get it and then I can still create my content because guys I'm literally not gonna go back to that place until January it's so mad like, I can't believe I'm gonna be at home for like five weeks it feels like like it's so weird like because it's my home but it feels weird to be here for this for five weeks like it feels like Birmingham is supposed to be my home do you know what I mean um but yeah the tables have turned do you know what I mean but I feel like it's much needed like now I don't have to pay for no grocery shopping I don't have to cook myself dinner Hey, I'm back as a child under my mum's custody, under my mum's responsibility and hopefully she's prepared some dinner for tonight because I'm actually quite hungry. If you ask me, if not, we'll buy some takeaway, I don't mind. If you guys follow my mum on YouTube um, and you're watching her vlogs, basically she's got a new job and it's so weird because for like all I can remember, like m my majority of my memories of my life, my mum's always like on social media like I think she was only had an actual job when I was like really small but my most of my memories is of her like working from home kind of thing so it's so weird that like now that I'm at home she's not actually gonna be here she's gonna be at work from nine to five on some days like when she's not working from home so now she's not gonna be here in the daytime so I don't know how I'm supposed to talk to you but as long as I'm at home that's fine like <laughs> oh, hey. oh, hello. <laughs> Do you know how sad I am to be here right now? I can tell. I'm so happy, guys. We're reunited. I don't know why it's so blurry. Why is it so blurry? Hi. <laughs> I watch the football. I know I was going to say to put the football on. Spain versus Germany, I think. Is it just starting now? Yeah. Seven. Oh, yeah. I don't know what games were happening earlier today. I don't yeah, know why there's a mirror today. here, guys. Um. I'm just going with it. <laughs> I got sent a mirror by this brand. Your hair looks nice. It still looks like it looks good. Look crazy. It's really thick. I like this. When you're done with this wig, I'm wearing it. It sheds so much. I hate it. I need a new wig. My whole accommodation floor has always got so much hair all over it. And yeah. <laughs> and I ordered bare stuff on Amazon. Um, is there food to eat here? Did you see in the kitchen? I haven't looked in the kitchen. I've been so excited. Girl! There's literally food there. But I Do you know how much bag juice I have, Mum? The oh guy gave God, not the bag juice. No, but the guy. He was not so nice. He went to the back and gave me a wholesale bag. A what? <laughs> Expressions on those German faces say it all. No one needs to reinforce the importance. Not the wholesale. Oh my gosh, Natalia. And I've got some extras as well. Mm -hmm. This is just is the this, red one. Is this even healthy to be drinking this much baggy? It's not just for me, it's for everyone. I'm not going to go back to Birmingham until January. So I've got some for you, for JJ, Nanny, myself. Okay, for everyone. Everyone needs a bit of bag juice. Guys, watch the World Cup. I'm obsessed with the World Cup. I always watch the matches. It actually kind of distracts me from uni, I can't lie. But I don't watch all of them. I don't watch the important ones. The next day. So guys, first morning in my humble abode. I'm making it sound like I'm just on holiday, but it feels like it. Like, to spend five weeks here, I'm just so happy. But yeah, um, I'm a bit annoyed though, because literally, I started doing this thing. I don't know if I told you something in my other vlog, but I started doing this thing where I like plan out my life. Like, um, say I have things to do in a day, like I write in my notes exactly what I'm gonna do at what time, like in a list like that. Last night, literally it says 11.13, I literally planned out my life. I said, I'm going to wake up at 8.30, have breakfast, and then that's 10 a.m. I'm going to start doing work, and then da 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 So then I thought I set an alarm, because obviously in my head, because I'm planning it out, I would have thought that I set an alarm as well, but I didn't double-check if I set it, so I just went to sleep. And I remember I was waking up in the morning, and I was thinking, why is my alarm not going off yet? But I thought, oh, maybe it's because it's just not time to wake up. So I kept on going back to sleep, kept on going back to sleep, and then I woke up properly, and I was like, wait a second, this actually feels like I've been asleep for too long, let me check the time. And then I checked the time, and it was bloody like um almost 10 a.m and 10 a.m is when i'm supposed to start my work not wake up i was supposed to wake up at 8 30 so i'm a bit annoyed because like i could have actually woke up earlier so now my whole day is pushed back by like an hour and a half i would say which is a bit annoying i can't lie because like with me yeah when i do school work like, i'm just not an advocate for doing school work in like the late hours of the night like, i don't do work in the late hours of the night and I also try not to do work on the weekends but because of uni I've had to do work on the weekends can't I but the main thing is I don't like doing work when it's night time so if my day gets pushed back it means that I finish work later like, I'm supposed to finish doing any type of work at six o'clock that's the time I like to like start chilling and winding down for the evening and then now I'm not going to finish until like 7 30 which is barely at night man 
so annoying but i need to edit there's a vlog that i filmed the, pre the vlog that came out before this one i'm trying to edit it but it's been taking me so long to edit it because of all this uni work you know what i mean like i'm trying to get out and i'm trying to be consistent like guys you need to stop me from being consistent okay like i can't bloody edit things and revise at the same time i don't have enough time in the day there's only 24 hours in the day and i'm asleep for like half of them um but yeah i'm gonna try to edit that i was supposed to get out tomorrow yesterday yesterday was sunday so i use it now i normally post on sundays i was supposed to post that video on sunday like i finished editing it and then post it but then because i spontaneously decided to do a three hour trip to london that journey was three hours by the way it was two hours and 45 minutes which is basically three hours so because i last went inside to do a three hour trip to london i couldn't edit um yesterday so um now i'm gonna have to edit today and post it today hopefully fingers crossed but yeah i need to think of like video ideas other than vlogs but then the thing is you guys always ask for vlogs so i don't know if there's even like i feel like it's okay if i just vlog because you guys are asking for them but then me personally i'm just like are you so sure you only want to see vlogs that my life is not actually interesting like you don't want to see like actual entertaining videos but then again what entertaining videos can i film because i don't have enough people around me like i don't like i just have myself my friends don't be on youtube and my mom like, I can film with my mum, but there's like only a certain extent that I can keep on filming with my mum. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, I took my wig off yesterday. I'm so happy that I could just chill at home, looking needy, looking like a bum, and nobody could tell me nothing. Like I can't. I, I, do I have to go on the eyelashes? I also done a sheen order last night. Oh my gosh, last night was so good. I was chilling in my bed with my iPad, watching um One of Us Is Lying season two came out, and I was sitting here with a cup of tea, bag of juice. I didn't eat them at the same time. I had tea and then one of my greg's yum yums and then after like an hour after or something i drank a bag of juice um the orange one but yeah i ordered a few things from sheen because i've been want basically i want a beanie right because like in the winter i normally wear them in it so then um Kasuko had the things Kasuko had like i like it but i always thought it was overpriced like when i first saw it like last year it was 40 pounds and i thought that was like overpriced for like a beanie um so then i didn't buy it but then this year i wanted it again so i thought to go check it again and i see in 55 pounds i figured i wasn't gonna buy it when it was 40 pounds i promise you i'm not buying it when it's 55 so then i put that out of the equation and there was like other brands like my friend um has a friend that has a fashion brand or whatever fashion designer or whatever and he released a hat and i really wanted it and it was only 25 pounds and i was like yeah i'm gonna get it, i'm gonna get it but i was just waiting a bit like, i don't know what i was waiting for but I, I knew i wanted it but i just didn't buy it straight away next minute i know it's sold out and he's not releasing anymore like what i was so annoyed because it was only 25 pounds like, that's more of a reasonable price for a hat and the hat was nice i probably even like it more than the classico one to be honest but then classico had their like sale thing where it's like 30 pounds for a classico hat but then it doesn't come for ages for like eight to twelve weeks so at first i was like yeah 30 pounds i'll pay i'll pay 30 pounds that's still expensive but it's better than 55 but then i found out that it won't deliver until eight to twelve weeks so then i wasn't gonna get it but then my friend he got it and for the pre-order is a pre-order that's why it takes eight to twelve weeks he got it but then his came in like three days so i was thinking oh maybe they're just saying pre-order because like it could take that longer but really and truly it could come earlier so then i bought two i couldn't decide between the gray one and the blue one so i bought both of them thinking yeah it's gonna come soon it hasn't come so i think i'm actually gonna have to wait eight to twelve weeks for that hat which is so annoying because if it does come in eight weeks that's all like looking like february times and i don't know if i would actually i probably would still wear the hat in those times for honest because it's still pretty cold but anyways i got the gray and the blue one from Classico, but then i don't have a black one so i wanted to buy a black one but i couldn't find any like brands that do it nice like with like i like graphic looking like you don't know my style like, i like things i don't like things simple i like it to have like stuff on the hat um but i couldn't find many uk um beanie brands that were one like a normal price and two like in stock um so yeah so i was looking around i was gonna get a north face one it's all right like i saw some girl on tiktok wearing it let me tell you guys some things and my random girl on tiktok she's got this north face one i was like oh yeah this is decent and that one's only 25 so i was literally checking it out in my basket i was actually buying it but then i thought let me go on tiktok real quick and just search like where to get beanies from and then i saw one post that said sheen and then i went on sheen and i found a really cheap beanie it was like two pounds 75 and i was like yes please like it's a bit more extravagant like that is so much cheaper than spending 25 pounds so then i end up doing like a whole sheen order gray joggers i have these in blue um and i really like them so i thought i'd get a gray one got a gray hoodie so i don't have one that's the beanie and then i just got a plain 
black bodysuit. Guys, uh, since Jamaica and Nigeria didn't qualify for the World Cup, I have to um, <laughs> I have to root for the next best um, black people team, which is Ghana. The hell, I mean, they lost against Portugal the other day, but they played really well, like three two. Okay, okay, and I love the Ghanaian crowd, they're too funny, like the way, the way they celebrate in the crowd is jokes, man, but yeah, I literally just, I was doing work over there and I just stopped um, to watch the football, because I'm on my break, my lunch break, at heart obviously I'm rooting for England, but other than England, I'm rooting for Ghana and Brazil. Look at the Ghanaian crowd, they're so lit, man. <laughs> yes! Two days later. Right guys, it's a few days later and clearly there's a change of hairstyle. I have my natural hair out, which is what don't see often, I can't lie. You sort don't see my natural hair often and the reason is, y'all know I'm always wearing wigs, so my natural hair only really comes out when I'm taking out my cornrows, like my underwood cornrows to like wash it but guess what happens yeah basically i literally took out my cane rose because like i just felt like being free and relieved i just had my natural hair out yeah for like the past day and then um i, I no literally the past day i literally took out last night i took out my cane rose last night before the england match yeah england versus wales we won by the way three now yeah and then um and then i find out that I've, I've got booked for a shift at work today after i literally just took out my cane rose last night and i'm thinking like what is with them and booking me for shifts like so last minute so then now i have my natural hair out so now i'm thinking oh my gosh now i've got to wake up early in the morning wash my hair re it to put my wig back on because like i don't know i'm not trying to go out in my hair like this ask me why i don't know first of all it's cold outside i don't know where my natural hair like my head it gets so cold but then even still like, i don't know i just oh no i'm not used to it this is the only style i do with it or like i'll put two plaits like this that is like my signature hairstyle whenever i have my natural hair out i have it like this with two plaits down 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 the middle that's my thing i could do that i don't know i think i will came over here i'm not gonna lie because i'm not really trying to go out with my hair like this or i could because who can be asked to glue on a wig anyways i'll figure that out when i come back because basically right now i'm gonna go to mcdonald's real quick to get mcdonald's breakfast because all i have here is cereal and i'm not really in the mood for cereal today i want to have mcdonald's new potato waffles double egg mcmuffin but without the egg because he's eating egg there's nasty and then also guys i feel like the biggest hypocrite on this earth yeah because basically you don't know like how crocs are a thing now like crocs are back in season but then i've always been a person that just doesn't i don't like them like i don't see what the hype is like i think even when i was younger i never even had a pair of crocs like, i know back in the day like they were a thing and i'm pretty sure i didn't own a pair of crocs and obviously when i'm older i'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna like it, but I didn't even like it when I was younger, when I was actually supposed to be wearing it. So, but anyways, I've always been a person who's like, I don't understand the hype about it. But then when I went to uni now, <laughs> everyone has Crocs, and still, I didn't like them. But then, my friend, yeah, she has a pair of grey Crocs, and guys, I don't know if it's obvious, but grey is one of my favourite colours. Like, blue is my favourite colour, yes, but when it comes to, like, what I wear, I like a cheeky grey, do you know what I mean? Like a grey tracksuit, do you know what I mean? So, she has these grey ones, and she had, like, all the um, charms on it, what are they called? widgets gibbets sorry like the, the the little icon things on the on the thing and she had decorated and i was like wait maybe these are a bit cute so i tried hers on they're not my size though hers are like size five i'm size six and a half so anyways i put it on and i was like wait maybe i actually like these like they actually look cute especially with what i was wearing i was wearing like a great i was wearing this gray tracksuit i think um or something similar and then i had the gray crocs on with the charms and i was like maybe i like it but at the same time when i would look down at my feet i'd be like these look ugly but then they're nice like, I, I guarantee you yeah I think it's a thing where if Crocs weren't in fashion, I would never buy them, if that makes sense. Like, I'm not saying I'm buying it because it's in fashion, but I'm saying like, because they're in fashion, it's like slightly altering my perception of them. Like, I think that's how fashion works, I'm not gonna lie. Like, like trends, that's what I'm trying to say. I feel like when something's trending, like even people that didn't wouldn't necessarily buy it before would now buy it because it's trending which is actually kind of dangerous because anything could go trending all of a sudden i'll say oh actually i like it it's because of um black friday cyber cyber week or whatever they're on sale so now they're only 30 pounds so i saw all 45 pounds i'm thinking i'm not spending 45 pounds on something that i don't really i don't like that much like i don't look at them and think oh my gosh they're so lame but then i just thought they'll be practical with that as another pair of sliders and a mode of transport <laughs> kind of thing so yeah but then now i'm seeing that they're on sale and then so now i would get them for 28 pounds from the croc website which is actually not that serious like, i've paid more for a bloody 
classico hat that cost 30 pounds so yeah so now i'm thinking to get them but the only problem dilemma is now is i don't know what size i am because my friends like like i said the friend that had the gray ones hers a size five so obviously i knew they didn't fit me but then um my other friend they have size six and basically i'm a six and a half so when i'm a half size it's a bit difficult about what size, what way to go like do i get a size six or do i get a size seven so they had size six and it's like my foot fit in it but it's like it's not as comfortable but then they were saying to me that over time the crocs get bigger and they expand so like my other friend who had a size five hers she's had hers for ages so when i put my foot in hers hers felt like my size but they're size five but it's because they stretched out so i'm thinking if i now get size seven just so that they fit me now if they stretch out and they become like a 7.5 they're going to be too big for me whereas if i get a six it's like they're going to be a bit too tight a little bit too small now but then over time they'll stretch and become like a six and a half which is my actual size so i'm just like i don't know what size to get and also obviously i'm ordering online I've never tried on a size 7 before so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go um, to JD real quick as well um, when I go to McDonald's and I'm going to try on a size 7 of any croc also I don't know if it's get men's or women's I don't know if there's a difference so I'm just going to try it all on in the shop and then come back home and decide which ones to buy um, and, and order it before the sale ends and then obviously I've got work later at 5 so I'm going to do as much yesterday I done so much studying guys I'm actually so proud I had the thousand word SAG next week and I literally read like, like half of it yeah I literally no, did I write hot? Okay, no. There's five paragraphs, including the introduction and conclusion, and I've done two paragraphs. Which might sound might not sound that great, but I've done that in one day. Like I've done two paragraphs in one day. Like I think that's I think that's pretty good if you ask me. They say more money, more problems. Right, I'm back. Let's go. Goody go. Let's go try on some crocs, shall we? Alright guys, this is a women's size seven. I'm gonna try on this one. Oh, they don't look that big. They look quite small actually. Oh, this feels tight. What the hell? Are they, I think this is the wrong hanger. This is not a size seven. This is like a size four. Why are they lying? <laughs> okay, guys. So literally, they didn't have my size. They didn't even have size six. The smallest size they had was size five. No, the closest size they had was size five. And then all the other ones are like massive. So I'm going to Sports Direct real quick and see if they have some Crocs because I need to at least try on a size six or a size seven. Like size five, I already know that's not my size. That one was way too small. So let's see if um, Sports Direct have my size. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to just buy it online and hope it fits. And hopefully, they do returns or something. So next, Sports Direct. Okay, guys. So these are a size seven. So let's try these on. They look massive, though. I can't lie. And I think they're men's as well. So it just looks extra wide. These are huge, but I mean, they fit, but they like they like really wide. I have really slim feet. I don't think I'll be able to walk in these. Yeah, no, these are massive. Okay, so that was an absolute fail. That didn't give me any type of clarity. Those um, those crocs that I tried on in Sports Direct, they were size seven men's, but like the Euro size was forty one to forty two, and I'm a Euro forty. That's a six and a half. So it was like it was just too big it's like people that are like more size seven to size eight whereas i'm more size six to size seven so i need one that's like a 40 to a 41 but i don't think that exists but i don't know if it's because it's men's that's why it came up bigger and also like they were really like wide like i have really slim feet guys so if i'm gonna get a size seven it should definitely be women like not men so yeah i'm gonna i think i'm probably gonna end up getting the size um size seven women i think because i want them to be comfortable i don't want them to be small for me but yeah i need to catch mcdonald's because the mcdonald's breakfast is about to close how do i even get in there how the hell do you get into this mcdonald's that is the real question <laughs> i'm literally just driving across the car park right now oh shoot i literally went the you know I fumbled, I've literally gone the longest way around. So yeah, I'm gonna go home. I need to, I decided that I am gonna camera my hair, guys. I could not have this hair out. It's too cold on my head. But I need to hurry up because I'm wasting all this time going all JD and all this stuff when I'm supposed to be camera my hair right now. Did I ever explain to you? Oh my gosh, I didn't even explain to you. Did I explain to you guys that um, I was supposed to wash my hair and then I realised that, literally as I was about to wash it, I realised there's no shampoo in this house. My mum's gone to work and that. So I couldn't even ask her, so there's no shampoo. And I bought a new bottle of shampoo, but I left it at uni. Like, do you guys know how many things I've left at this um, university place? Like, I basically didn't bring anything useful. Like, I left my shampoo there, so now I can't actually wash my hair, but thankfully it's not. Like, how would you go when you could see that I'm coming? Like, have you ever heard of giveaway? Anyways. Yeah, thankfully, my hair's not that dirty. See, so yeah, I can't even wash my hair. Bro, they better still be selling breakfast. What time is it? Surprisingly, I've never had trouble, like, going through, like, drive throughs I used to always be scared that I would, like, hit something. <laughs> like, hit the curb or something. But let me not talk too soon. 
Hello, please pull forward to the next speaker. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> and what am I even getting? Double sausage and egg McMuffin meal. Yeah. Hi, can I have a double sausage and egg McMuffin meal without egg, please? Um, oh, can I have the potato waffles instead of a hash brown? Yeah, and the what thing would you like? Um, can I have a hot chocolate please? Don't hit the curb, Nathaniel. Don't hit the curb. Oh, where am I going? <laughs> Where's the people that give you your food? This is some long drive through, what the hell? Last time I came to this McDonald's, they literally recognised me, so I really hope they didn't recognise me this time. Can I have ketchup please? Ketchup, yeah. Thank you. There you go, they only gave me one ketchup, but I was too shy to ask for one. At home time. Can you do something for me? Here, this area I live in, there's no bloody parking. Oh, my car could actually fit there. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, should I risk it? I don't know. My car's like not completely in the um in the line thing. My whole fucking back wheel is hanging off, hanging outside the box. I don't think they'll allow it. Front just moved forward a little bit i would actually be able to fit guys on this road i park on yeah like you have to parallel park in it and there's not many spaces and then the people that do park they don't flip and park close enough to each other so then because they're leaving such big gaps between the car in front of them it's like meaning that other spaces are like would only fit like three quarters of a car but if you sort of moved forward then it would fit my whole entire car so now i can't park in that space because my back wheel's not even in the space this is so long because now it's gonna take me so long just to bloody park. Ugh. Things annoy me. <sighs> no offense, but I don't understand why people get these big, big cars here, yeah, like these big, massive Porsche Porsches, and then they can't even bloody drive them properly. Like I promise you, I'm not getting no big boy car until I'm a confident driver. Do you know what I mean? Like this guy's bare, like hesitating and driving slow as if he doesn't know what he's doing. Like, babes, you've got a Porsche and a private plate. So why can't you flip and drive for? Honestly, guys, get yourself these potato waffles from McDonald's, man. They're too long. My double egg McMuffin with no egg and my cheeky hot chocolate. Yummy. And I'm watching this show right now. It's a Spanish one, but it's actually all right. Basically, if you saw, um, there's this show on Netflix, which is American, it's called One of Us is Lying, and it's like one of them, like, not a, it's a high school show but it's a mystery as well like a hacker is hacking the, the whatever the yeah that's what's happening yeah I don't, that's a crap explanation but yeah i watched that season one and then season two came out recently so i finished that and i was thinking oh like, i didn't really want to finish it because i actually quite liked it but in this spanish show is giving the same vibe like this whole idea of a hacker hacking the school and exposing everyone's secrets like that's literally the plot of the story of one of us is lying um so I just thought, well, why not watch the Spanish equivalent? So that's what I'm watching right now. It's called, it's called Control. Where's the name of it? It's called Control Z. So guys, I ended up gluing my wig. I literally just finished gluing it now, but I am in a rush because I'm going to be late for work. Guys, I have not eaten. Ooh, sunset's looking nice. I haven't eaten, guys. I literally just put some potato waffles in the oven, but I'm going to have to eat it on the train like a ghetto girl. But, oh, I haven't even made hot dogs. Oh. Guys, I'm actually going to starve because literally I don't finish work until like 11 and right now it's 5 so I basically don't have time to eat dinner. But like, should I drink this bigger? I'm going to drink this bigger. No, I'm not going to drink this bigger. <laughs> um, yeah, I, oh shoot, what am I going to do? It's 20 past and I need to leave like now. But yeah, I didn't eat um, dinner. I'm not going to have time to eat dinner. But... I'm not even, can you hear how I'm not even speaking real English? Can I dry my hands up? Basically, I need to leave like now, but I haven't eaten yet and I need to eat before I leave otherwise I'm going to be hungry and then I can't get food on the way because there isn't any food on the way. Like the most I can do is like get cheeky snacks or something. But um, I can't like go get McDonald's or nothing. What time is it? It's 18 past. Let me check the latest time that I can leave. Oh, guys, I'm stressed. I came over with my hair, glued it on straightened it my phone is in my back pocket and i'm walking around looking for it i'm gonna have to just firm those potato waffles that's not gonna fill me up for nothing because i don't have time to make a hot dog oh i need to leave in like two minutes i need to catch that train oh shoot okay yeah okay yeah guys i gotta go i'll see you later later that same evening this chinese is literally burning my mouth guys this is my dinner for tonight i 
probably should have recorded it before I ate half the plate. Um, but basically, just got home from, I'm about to say from school, from work. Okay, I actually finished quite early because I finished at like nine. And it was funny because as I was leaving out, I literally saw my mum, as I was going, can I even speak? As I was coming in, I saw my mum leaving out um, to go to, where's she going in? To the Mobo Awards and a House of CB event. So she's going to be late tonight. And she actually told me in advance this time, if you are watching mum's vlog, you seen it on Instagram, there was a whole um, thing that happened where one night that I was here in London another time, she basically didn't come home, like, until like 7 a.m. was it 7? like 7, 8 a.m. or something like that and basically I was worried that she went missing and I was scared that something happened to her because she wasn't answering her phone and stuff so then um now and then I was getting on to her I was like how can you do that you're supposed to text me you're supposed to text me like how can you not tell me da -da? like I was proper guys I was so scared I was actually crying I thought that she literally went missing because she wasn't answering her phone and it was like 7 a.m. so now she's learned her lesson and now she texts me and tells me in advance that she's gonna be home like um I just ordered Chinese because I really shouldn't be ordering Chinese because I just spent money on a cab to get home by accident. Because basically, I'm actually a dumb girl. What happened was, yeah, normally I get I get the train half of the journey, and then my mum picks me up at um, the train station that I like halfway through. Like I come out of the train station and then she picks me up out of it and then drives me home so that I don't walk home in the dark. But I'm a big girl now. You get it? Like, I'm a big girl. So I was like, yeah, no, it's fine. I'm not going to text my mum to come and pick me up. And obviously, she's, I was assuming that she wasn't at home. I thought she'd already left already. So I'm thinking, yeah, I'm going to um, get the train the whole journey. But because I was so used to getting, like, leaving the train station halfway through the journey and waiting for my mum, like, instinctually, I just tapped out. And I was like, oh, literally, as soon as I tapped out and I walked, I was like, wait a second, why am I tapping out? This is not the station that I live at. And I was like, oh, for flip's sake. So I basically already tapped out on Instagram, meaning that I had to get a cab. Well, I could have just tapped back in and then continued my journey. But then I thought, the train that, the train that would take me to my actual house was coming in eight minutes. And I didn't really want to wait eight minutes. But then the cab was like, in zero minutes, like the cab was already there. So I just firmed the £13 cab. Guys, Birmingham, with their cheaper cost of living, is making me realise how expensive London is because if I took a cab in Birmingham that same distance, it would not be £13. It would be, like, £6. But here is £13 for a bloody cab, which is to not even go that far. Like, what the hell? And I'm still watching my control z um show apparently there's season two i'm on season two i didn't even know there was season two but i'm just going with it at this point two days later damn my car is so dirty what's the helmet good morning my people so today i'm actually a dumb girl because yesterday i literally just remembered or was i would have forgot i remembered that i had a tattoo appointment because basically you sort of saw the video the vlog before when i got both my tattoos done um but the one on my wrist like after it healed like it peeled like it peels, yeah, like as part of the healing process. But then after it peeled, like it's like a bit faded in certain places. So she was saying like, oh, because of certain people's skin types or like the area, like sometimes the tattoo can like not come out as bold. I don't know if you still can see. If you can't see, I'll insert a picture of how it looks now. Like it's not like the eight in the 1985 is like barely there. Like it's just faded, isn't it? Now. So I was a bit worried. So I messaged her and she's like, yeah, just come in to get it topped up um so yeah but then i forgot about it like i knew it was on saturday is this taking me the right route yeah like i knew it was on saturday but then in my head saturday was like far away like i didn't deep how soon like how fast the week went by like i don't know what the hell happened um so now i'm doing it again where like i'm just going to get a tattoo oh, why am i going forward i'm just getting a tattoo when i did it mentally Prepare for it, you know what I mean? I don't know what it is with me and getting tattoos when I'm not mentally prepared for them. Yeah, that's where I'm going right now. It's like, I don't know why my appointments are always so early. The last time my tattoo was at 10 a.m. as well. But guys, this car is so dirty, it's actually embarrassing because in Birmingham, I couldn't be asked to like find an actual car wash place. And then before I had a chance to find one, I came to London anyway, so I thought I might as well just go to the same car wash place that I normally go to. But then even still, I haven't had time to actually go get the car wash. But I, was, I miss how my car looked when it was like squeaky clean, black rims all shining and that. Now they're all dusty, my screen is literally like dusty right now, so. Why is there no music playing? 
Oh my gosh, guys, literally, I had the worst thing happen yesterday. I was on my way to work, right? And the journey's about 30 minutes. And then, basically, I was watching a football at home, the Ghana versus Uruguay match. And it was all intense because the Portugal versus South Korea match was happening. And it's obviously the last... Oh! Oh, DL, Tanya, Buffon. Oh, oh, DL. How the hell am I going to get that off? I'm literally on, like, a 40 mile per hour road and my phone just fell off of the... Um, Shoot, how's this know where I'm going as well? Oh, we're going the last lane. This keeps on happening. Such a danger hazard. Oh, can this? Okay. Oh! Okay. Can you not do that again, please? Like the phone that she just drops and goes to where my feet are. I better not do that because I'm actually going on the on the motorway for this trip, and that cannot be happening on the motorway. The motorway is scary. But yeah, anyways, what was I saying? Yeah, so I was watching the match, yeah, at home, and then I left for work, and then I tried to continue watching the match while I was on my on the train. So now I go to put my AirPods in, and for some reason, like, my AirPods are just not connected to my phone, and I was actually fighting with it, like, the whole half of the journey. And then it just wasn't connecting that. I tried to disconnect it from my device and reconnect it, and like, it just wasn't working. So guys, I was so annoyed, because literally, the whole journey, I went without music, and I don't know how people do it. Like, I'm not, like, a... I wouldn't say like I listen to music a lot, a lot, but in terms of like so certain things, I would listen to music. Like for example, when I'm in the car, there's no way I'll drive without listening to music, unless like just because in the car something we're having a conversation, like that's fine. But if I'm by myself, 100%, I'll have music blasting in the car. Like I can't drive in silence, or unless I'm vlogging like this. And other things like when I'm um, going on a journey, like on the train, or just walking about, going on just anything that involves travelling, yeah, I'm always on the on the um, I'm always listening to music, so I had to go that whole journey in silence. It was so weird. I don't know how people do it, just walk around with like no background music in their head, like what the hell. So um yeah, that was very frustrating. Oh shoot, this isn't gonna be six minutes late. Whoops. <laughs> Oops. Um I hope she doesn't be offended by that. That was six minutes late. But um yeah, and I was so annoyed. And then the journey and obviously I went to work for a few hours. So I was hoping that by the time I get out to work it'll stop being annoying. Because I'm thinking I'm already starting to think oh I'm gonna have to get new airports because yeah I've had the airports for probably like three years. So I was just thinking maybe it's acting up because it's old or something and it's time to get a new one. So I was already looking online for the past new airports. I was even considering getting the pros because I thought if I'm gonna get new airports might as well get a pro. Um and then I came out of work thinking oh maybe it'll start working again. No the bloody I came out of work and and it still wasn't working so i literally had to go the whole journey home in silence as well which was so annoying but then um basically when i got home i just put it on charge and then it started working again so now i'm happy because that no airport life was mad oh this car is so dirty even the inside it needs a clean mate. even the windscreen is so dirty even the side Ugh, look how nah I'm so embarrassed. And things I always get to my mum about how dirty her car is. Now look at me. I'm in that driving phase where like, I've stopped caring about how my car looks and now it's just dirty. Um, but it's not like dirty in terms of like untidiness. Like, it's not like like leftover food and stuff all on the floor. Like that, that's not me. But in terms of like actual like, like footprints on the mats, dirt from people's shoes, Whatever this stuff is on the seats, I don't know. If it, do you know what it is? It's, it's all the passenger seats that are dirty. These lot in their dirty bums be sitting in my car. But, um, oh, that scared me. What's the hell? Right, guys, I've just arrived, but my battery on my camera is now low. And the thing is, I checked the battery before I left and I thought, yeah, it's fine. Turns out it's low, so I won't be able to bring you guys inside. But when I'm done, I'll come out and show you stuff. But yeah, this is like, let me try to show you stuff properly what I was talking about. Right, guys, this is what I mean about the tattoo. Like, is faded in certain places, well, most places to be honest. So hopefully it can be fixed. <laughs> Guys, I just got back from, well, I didn't just get back. I got back from the um, tattoo place and just been eating McDonald's for lunch. And I've just realized I don't have my phone and I don't, there's no way I left my phone in the car. There's, are you actually been, Guys, I've literally been home for about, how long have I been there? I want to say about 20 minutes. And it's only now that I'm realising that I don't know where my phone is. And now I'm questioning whether I even brought it upstairs in the first place. Guys, you know how long it is to go and walk back to the car? So I'm trying to make sure and double check that it's actually not here before I walk all the way back to my car to find out that I, it isn't here. Did I seriously? 
honestly, no. Oh, guys, you know, I've done this so many times, yeah. Because basically, you know, when my phone is plugged into the aux, yeah, and it's on the stand, sometimes I just get out of the car and I forget that I need to take the phone. But this time, though, there was a water bottle there, there was um, McDonald's, so like I actually was taking things out of the car with me. So, why would I not take my phone? That doesn't make any sense. Oh no, please, please tell me I didn't leave it downstairs because I actually can't be asked to go there. Oh, you're actually, but it's not in any of my pockets. How would I test if my phone's in the house? You know what I'm gonna do? If I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try airdrop something to it and if it doesn't come up on the airdrop options, then that means that it's not here. Are you actually seriously telling me I, I left my phone? Bro, my phone is not in this house. <sighs> my phone in the car anyways tear it up mm. tear it up yeah i got my um tattoos redone i was i told you guys i was literally only going in for this one but then um i thought let's take a look at this one just to make sure like because this one looks fine to me but i was my mom was like to her, um to ask her just in case like maybe a few letters could go had could to do with going over and then she looked at it and she's like yeah this one's fine but i'll just go over it anyway like in some places that were a bit like less prominent than others but I feel like she went over the whole thing. I'm not sure because when when I'm do when I'm getting it done, I'm lying and down, lying down, and my arms out like this, and she's tattooing it. But like I could watch her do it, but I don't because I don't know why. I always feel like if I watch the needle penetrating my skin, it will make me feel the pain more. Like I feel like if I look at the tattoo being done, I'm focusing on the pain more, so it will hurt more. Whereas if I just like daydream or I go to sleep, then it will be less painful. So I try not to look while they're doing it. But if in terms of like where I could feel the the the, the What's it called? I don't want to say pain. Where I could feel the penetration happening, it seemed like she was going over the whole thing, but I'm not sure. But yeah, it was really quick and um, basically, it was so weird because when I first got my, when I first got them done, this one was like not painful at all. Like I literally just sat there, sat there the whole time. Like I don't really, I don't remember feeling any ounce of pain. Like whereas this one hurt more. Like that one, I actually felt the pain. Whereas now, this time it was the other way around. Like this one, as soon as she started, I felt pain. Like I was like, what? Like that was actually, it hurt. Obviously, it was still bearable, but this one actually hurt. Whereas before it didn't. And in this one, didn't feel like anything. This one was a breeze. So, but I'm trying to. I'm trying to get another tattoo, but like I'm just trying to decide on what because the thing is, I want tattoos, but I don't. I'm scared of them being too prominent. Like, I remember I was trying to convince myself that I wanted one here like that, but it's just like it's too prominent. Like I don't want. Like the thing is, it's mad because I thought I wanted to be someone that had loads of tattoos. So it's like obvious that like, when you look at me, like yeah, she has tattoos, like loads of little small ones. But then I realize I don't want. I don't know. I just don't want. It it to be too prominent like this one you only see if i like raise my arm or like i go like this or like do you know what i mean like main, mainly is hidden so it's like i don't want something that's like right here so it's like as soon as i walk up to someone that's what they're gonna notice um but it's nice though and also but i asked her um what are like the most painful places and she was like any joints pretty sure this is a joint and i, I have a um this is girl on my accommodation that also has a tattoo here and she said it was really painful because it's that like, close to your veins and stuff so i don't think i want it enough to go through the pain of getting it done but then also she said wrist but the thing is i was contemplating getting the wrist tattoo here but guys before i get a tattoo yeah i always draw it on my body and like draw it on my body like a couple of days in a row so i can see like if i would like it or i'll get henna get a henna of it um so this morning i drew a heart here because i figured do i want to look because i know i want a heart but i'm trying to figure out where i want it like at first what is that is that being at first i wanted it like here I think you can still see where I used to, like I drew it on earlier this morning, but because I went in the shower, it's slightly faded. But this pen is like so thick that it didn't even wash off completely. But you can slightly see it there. I kind of wanted it like there, um, because I think that looks cute. But mum was like, like, I was so set on getting that. Mum was like, no, that's ugly. Why are you getting it there? And I was like, oh, okay. So then I was gonna get it like here. Like on the side which i think is really pretty but then at the same time like one i'm scared because i feel like that would hurt two i don't like that this is my foot press like, you see when i put my arm up here um the skin here like stretches and then when i close it it like compresses so i felt like if i got a heart basically <laughs> it would change shape depending on how i'm moving so i like so if i get the tattoo done while my arm is up then the heart would look a certain way but when i put my arm down it will squash i don't know if that makes sense but i just feel like I'm scared of getting something like a shape because it would change the way it looks depending on 
how my body looks in that area where there's like just extra skin that can just move up and down depending on how I'm moving. I don't know if that makes sense, but it makes sense to my head. So then I was like, do I want it on my wrist? Which I think is cute, I can't lie. Like, I, don't, I don't mind it on the, this part of my wrist though. So like, when I put my arm up like this, you can't see it. You can only see this one. But when I go like this, you'll see this one, but you can't see this one. You know the vibe? And it's cute, but wrist is really painful. And I can see that it would be painful because it's literally where all my veins are. Comment down below what tattoo should I get? Should I get this heart here? I also kind of want something. I, initially, I've always wanted a back tattoo, but now that I know what a tattoo feels like, I feel like I don't want to do it because I feel like it would hurt. But I want a tattoo that be like here. Why does my back look so dark right now? <laughs> but I kind of wanted one like here. Like, like, I wanted one here. I remember I wanted one here, but then someone told me that it's called a tramp stamp. And I was like, why am I getting a tattoo that's called a tramp stamp? Like, I think they're cute, but why is it called a tramp stamp? That's such an like, ugly name. Then I wanted one like here, but then I realised that as I get older, say if I put on weight, I'll get like a, a roll like here. Because when you, let's like, say you put on weight in your back, like say I have a child or something and I start putting on weight in my back and stuff, I'll get like a roll here. So I realised if I get a tattoo there, it will become like in, in that roll there like that so i was like let me not get anything in the places that could where my body could change as i get older do you know what i mean and um, that's why i don't i don't have any like stomach tattoos or anything like that or any like lower abdomen tattoos i just feel like when i get pregnant the tattoo will change the way it looks and that's scary um but then now i'm thinking i want one like here like you see like the bra line i want one like a, above it i want like a little star i think that's so cute i'll insert a picture of what the star one would look like but then i also feel like i want one like lower back but to the side like two butterflies but that one it's like i like it but i don't think i'd get a tattoo like maybe it has a henna comment down below guys give me some tattoo ideas and maybe i'll do the idea that you suggest but anyways i just go upstairs and get my phone because what is this why am i upstairs with no phone it's just, oh, look, it's right there. Look at it, just chilling there. Look, guys, look how dirty my car is. This is so embarrassing. But yeah, this is, my phone is literally all the way back here. I'm actually a dumb girl. All right, bye, Winter. I don't even call my car by her name anymore. Bye, bye, look how dirty she is. Please, I'll see you. Wait, hold on, look at the windscreen. Oh, you can't even bloody see it. Look at this whole car. She's a really dirty girl, oh my gosh. Right, it's time, ow. It's time to take off the um, the wrap of my tattoo. And it's literally already hurting already. Like when, like when I took my jumper off just now, it caught on the tape and the tape pulled a little bit and that hurt. So I'm scared because this stuff be hanging on to my hairs and stuff. And the thing is, she was gonna even put the tape like this. You see how like the side bits of the tape are like coming off, yeah? She was scared that like the whole thing would like come off as I'm moving about through the day. So she was like, oh, do you want me to wrap it from here to here? And I was like, girl, like, do you know how much hair I have here compared to here? Like here already hurts and there's not even that much hair on my arms, on the inside of my arms, let alone the outside of my arms. Like, no thank you. One down, one more to go. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, this is looking a lot more visible now. Damn, it looks very visible. Obviously, I know like it's like fresh and just been done, so obviously it's gonna when it peels, it'll probably be a bit different. I don't know why this camera don't like to focus, but it's more visible. Okay, like when I'm looking in the mirror, I can actually see the numbers, and hopefully when it heals, it stays this visible because this is the kind of visibility I was going for. Do you know what I mean? Like it's like it's darker. Hopefully, 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 fingers crossed. And this one, this one looks pretty much the same to me. It just looks like, like, fresher kind of thing, but it looks the same. I don't think, this one didn't really need much going over, I don't think. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna clean it up now. I think I remember the healing, pro the aftercare off by heart. Cause I'm, I'm just that girl, I'm just a tattoo babe. I just remember it off by heart now. So I went to Superdrug and I found this. Tattoo girl. This is the lotion. They had a balm and they had a whole kit that had like the balm, the lotion, and the wash. And I was thinking to get the kit, but it was like twelve pounds. And I was like, I'm not really trying to get that. Um, so I was like, let me get the lotion because obviously this, this um cocoa butter one is like it's kind of like a balm. Like it's like 
it's not like actual cream it's like hard so i thought i'm not gonna buy the balm of the tattoo goo because then i'll have like two balms kind of thing so i was like let me get an actual lotion so i'm hoping this one's more like like an actual cream like liquidy yeah it is i don't know if y'all can see if it wants to focus oh So guys, I'm literally getting ready because I'm about to go to work. I'm actually happy. One thing I'm happy about about being at home is that like, I can, um, what do you call it? I can start like working again because in Birmingham there's like no work. <laughs> Well, I haven't found a job in Birmingham yet. Like an actual job. Like I prefer to work for aid, like agency work. Like I find it easier. Like I don't have to stay with the same people all the time. I get to go to different like locations, not working in the same place. Like, I don't want to like get a retail job because I feel like I'll just be more stressed out. But it might be necessary at some point when because sometimes agency jobs like there's not always jobs available. Like in Birmingham, I was literally starving, starving for a job because I had, there was like no shifts available in Birmingham. But then in London, there's a hell of shifts. So I'm literally working like nearly every day this week. I've been working nearly every day this week. In fact, I worked every day this week and then nearly every day next week. But the only annoying thing is that tomorrow, knockout stage of um, the World Cup and England, where's my perfume? England is playing against Senegal and the match is at seven. And I don't think I'm going to be back from work in time, which is very annoying because, like, fair enough, I might mi miss some of the matches, but a whole England, like, that's actually my people there. I'm like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm a bit annoyed, but fingers crossed I come home in time for um, football. If not, if not, I don't know what I'm going to do, mate. I'm going to just have to miss out that match, and hopefully it's not the match where England gets sent out. I'm wearing a jumper instead of, like, a long sleeve top because of my tattoos, which are looking very fresh. My mom, I showed my mom and she said that, yeah, they look better. And hopefully it heals better this time because clearly, I, I, the thing is, I just knew that I had that type of skin that would just be difficult because when I get piercings, I get keloids. And it's funny because when I was getting my tattoo done today, she was saying how like um, a lot of people get keloids um, from tattoos, which says even though it's possible, like, I thought you could only get keloids from piercings. I thought that if I got a tattoo, it would get, like something would happen to it. That was one of the things I was scared of because when it comes to um, piercings, my skin like doesn't heal. Like that's why I don't have many, like that's why I don't have any piercings. Like my nose, I wanted to get pierced, um, but I can't because I feel like if I get a nose piercing, I get a keloid that would get infected and I don't want to like leave a scar on my face because when I got my ears done I remember I got a forward helix back in the day like in year 10 didn't heal got my second lobes done they didn't heal so I just she just took all of them out and I was like yeah no piercings are not for me tattoos they're better but clearly that this part of my skin doesn't heal as well look how bold it is now like it's actually so much more visible I hope it but it's it's, it's like it's different though because last time it wasn't as like bold as this so i'm just every time i look at it i'm like wow it's like 1985 like shouting in my face but i feel like that's better because it only looks bold because i'm close to it but other people won't see it that close so yeah when i'm looking at it like this i'm just like damn this is really bold whereas for you guys it just looks visible like a good amount of visibility but yeah i'm off to make some money two days later I look like an absolute mess, which definitely mirrors my life right now. Okay, like, look at my hair. No eyelashes, nothing. But yeah, guys, I haven't vlogged since I don't know when, but I'm doing this new thing where I'm not vlogging every day. I'm just vlogging days where I'm actually doing something because most of the time I haven't got a life and I'm just sitting there revising all the, not even revising, doing work the whole entire day. Literally, let me tell you how my last week just went. Today's Monday, the whole of last week, literally all I did, wake up, do my essays, basically, let me, I'll even show you guys, let me get my laptop. Literally, just been writing, writing my essay, okay, because I have two essays due, like literally a week apart from each other, by the way. One's due, <laughs> literally, in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday three days um and the other is due in seven days so next week so yeah i've just been doing that so i wake up do that and then at like three or four i start getting ready for work i leave go to work come back at like 10 o'clock at night and that's been the what i've been doing on a loop for like how many days but today i don't have work today today what i need to do i'm getting ready now just going some eyelashes to go and um go to an appointment because if you watched my other vlog you would know that one of my tooth gems on my teeth I had I have two here look how dry my hands are jeez I just washed my hands yeah don't judge me 
okay i have two here i don't know if you can see it and they used to be one here i picked it off by accident it fell off and i was so upset because those these two gems have literally lasted me like a year and it's like part of my identity now do you know what i mean so um yeah i booked an appointment to get the one that fell off redone it's so annoying because like because i wear um retainers because i don't know if you don't know but i used to wear a brace i used to have braces before i was a youtuber i was a little girl with braces yeah because i had braces i have to wear retainers for like the rest of my life so it's um because i don't have because of the shape of my retainers i have to get um tooth germs that i like that won't prevent me from putting my retainers on if that makes sense and i would want to get it like in the like here like the bottom corner of the tooth but because if i put it at the bottom when i go to put my retainers on the retainers won't be able to slide onto my teeth because obviously the tooth gem mix that like, comes out um so i have to get it at the top which is where it was before like here i need to get a new eyelash glue because this eyelash glue i have is like so clumpy oh yeah i remember someone even commented asking where i get what eyelash glue i use i use duo glue it's so old that the writing's not even bloody on here anymore it's been rubbed off but it's duo glue but i use the black one and it's like this type of one where like you apply it like that but it's like so old and it's getting like clumpy so i need to get a new one but primark is the only one well that i've seen that do it like this um for only five pound i think i think super drug do it but it's like six pounds that a b on the window and i think the hair shop does it as well but like actually yeah i could go to a hair shop you know i feel like the hair shop would do it but before i go to my appointment i'm basically gonna go to tesco because i need i want to start cooking again on my instagram explore page literally if you go on my instagram my explore page is compromised of food tattoos and nails that's sums up my life pretty much you know what i mean foods tattoo and now sounds about right so um, i was on instagram today and i was looking at like my explore page and all like the recipes and stuff and i saw two recipes that i want to make i make actually i think there's even three recipes that i want to make yeah there is there's one oh, i even show you guys hold on let me do my edges guys look at my saved stuff on instagram it's literally just food and i don't know why i saved these nails i probably wanted to get them done but anyways this is the meal i saw it's like potatoes and steak and then I'd make it with like fried rice. That looks yum, like prawn fried rice with this steak and potato. Nah, this looks yum. And where did you want it again? Um, it's... It was right next to it. This tooth, yeah, at the top. At the top. So oh, I just have retainers, so my retainers go through the middle. Oh, so okay, so above it. Okay, yeah. perfect. Okay, let's pop this in there. Just open your mouth wide. Perfect. Bite down, perfect. Okay, how does that feel? Okay. It feels fine, yeah. yeah. I can't believe it actually lasted that long. I'm, I'm actually um... really, really proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> I was shocked as well. I started forgetting it was there until he could like say it to me, and I'm like, oh yeah. yeah. Um... And they're like, when did you get it done? I'm like, it was actually a year ago. Like, yeah, that's actually. You know, I mean, it does. That is like the standard time. We do say six months to a year, but like mm. I've had clients that have had theirs for like two years now, mm. so I mean, that is for it to come off now is not is actually not bad. Mm. Like, have a little look. I think it'll definitely smaller, yeah. It's definitely smaller than smaller. this one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go for contend contender number two. <laughs> yeah. Was is the positioning okay though? Was yeah, it that yeah. high? Yeah. So that was a seven. We just put this one is a six, and I think the ones you have next to it are fives. Oh, okay. So was it smaller than this as well? Was it smaller than that one? I can try smaller than that one. If yeah, I, it was smaller. If I grab it. Let's see. We're really going through it, guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this happened last time as well. I tried yeah. to keep on trying different ones. Honestly, we'll get there though. We'll get there. Have faith in us, y'all. We can't learn the number. The next time, the I'll next be, time like, you will know. Cool, exactly. like, straight away. Yeah, I think it was that yeah. size. Yeah, it was. Yeah, that's that was the size mm -hmm. and where it is as well. Good. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah, this is fine. Perfect. I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit. We're good. Have a little look see look. Yeah, that's yeah. the Tanya. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's me. Thank you yeah. so much. Good. No worries, my lovely. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Letting you know that it lasted that yeah. long. Yeah, it's so funny because like it's actually something that people always notice. Like they always say, Oh, they like your teeth trends. Really? It feels like it's my thing now. Like really? I'm the only one yeah. that I know that has exactly. it. Exactly. Like, that's that's how... my thing. Yeah, I was like, gonna go keep, like. Yeah. But yeah, guys, this is what it looks like. I don't know I was not even focusing. Oh yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. I remember when it fell off, yeah, I looked in the mirror and I was like, my teeth look so boring. Really? I was so upset. It's like was naked. Complaining. Yeah, I was actually vlogging when it happened as well. And oh. I was actually complaining. I was like, guys, my teeth look oh, so boring. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. They won't understand the pain until it's like, I don't know, it's like having something attached to you and then it's just. It's just gone, yeah. I feel like I'd have Like, not wearing now. earrings and you wore yeah. earrings your whole like, life. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. like that. No, fair enough, man. I'm happy that you're, you got through and you it yeah it looks nice yeah thank you so much all right thank you bye i am back to be myself with my tooth gem i just pray that it lasts as long the lighting's so nice but yeah guys i'm literally starving yeah my whole day plan went like wrong like i told you that i was going to tesco to buy ingredients to cook and it turns out I had to go to the post office quickly to post off some Navoir orders. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. Because my tooth gem is new, I can actually feel it. Like when you first get it done, you can sense that it's there. But obviously after a while, like, I don't know, you, the brain is so weird. Like after a while, you don't feel it anymore. But so because it's like, I just got it done, I can actually feel it on my tooth. This is so weird. Like I'm not used to being able to feel it. But yeah, anyways, so um, I was supposed to go to Tesco, but then I, and my mum was like, oh, you need to post off the Lavoie orders or some Lavoie orders yesterday. So I had to post them off. Um, so then I obviously, that me going to the post office took out the time that I was going to use to go to um, Tesco. And then I was going to eat on like go McDonald's on the way, but also I didn't have time to do that either. So then now I didn't eat and now I'm annoyed because I forgot that when you get the tooth gem you can't eat for a bit afterwards um so now I'm gonna have to wait an hour before I eat anything guys no no this car is actually unacceptable like are you actually seeing this I might even go get a car wash right now you know to even kill some yeah no yeah no yeah yeah that's what I'm doing right now I'm actually embarrassed oh my gosh guys I'm embarrassed I'm embarrassed I'm embarrassed no I'm gonna go get a car wash right now <laughs> change of plans I'm even embarrassed to go get my car wash because the people that are gonna wash it are gonna be like what the heck is this champy girl got going on here like why is my car so dirty <laughs> I think last time I washed it was before I went to uni so I went to uni in September so I probably washed it in like August and we're in December guys oh my gosh guys my baby's getting clean oh yeah by the way guys I concluded that um hand car washes are way better than the the machine ones like, i feel like they proper get in there get all the scrubbing going do you know what i mean my rims always leave this place looking shiny oh my gosh the, oh my gosh the soap is literally brown can you see oh that's so embarrassing the soap is literally black oh my gosh can you see let me try to zoom in can you see that the soap is literally black or brown or whatever that is so embarrassing they're probably looking at me thinking she's a dirty girl because birmingham is such a leafy place there's bare leaves that are stuck inside the um front bit of my car like where the bonnet is um because there's just hella leaves like hella trees and that and all the trees that be shedding their leaves onto my car so hopefully they get that part out because like there's so many leaves stuck in there I couldn't be asked to take it out myself guys look how clean she is oh my gosh i missed seeing these sparkly rooms bro like look how oh my gosh look how pink that looks yum she's so clean look at all this squeaky white she looks she looks brand new mate i don't know why i ever let her get that dirty i'm so sorry love this is the part of sigma where i had bare leaves there's still leaves in there i felt like but who's going down there to get that not me i don't know if i ever showed you guys but you know i actually scratched my car like ages ago <laughs> i don't think i ever told you guys but um there was one time i was like with um trinity and i basically reversed into someone's car yeah not the greatest role model to um my viewers but where even is it where did i scratch it again oh yeah this side so um yeah it was really late at night so like yeah yeah we don't we don't, we don't talk about that we don't, we don't talk about that but yeah i've done a bit of shopping at tesco so guys long story short my head started itching me so much that i took my wig off so now i'm a bonnet babe but basically i've been studying since i got back and now i need to quickly cook before the brazil match starts brazil versus he's even playing again i don't even pay attention um south korea but before you you lot that try to say ah oh, girls i ain't got football because i learned guys listen yeah listen besides the peng boys i also actually care about the football like, i don't try don't try to use this as evidence of oh only girls girls only watch the world cup to see g bellingham and all this nonsense i like, know like those are just a bonus do you know what i mean like i was always gonna watch it anyway anywho the match is in 30 minutes so i've got about 30 minutes oh i just feel like i might actually be cooking while the match is happening which i don't want but the rice basically i'm making fried like fried rice like chinese style but um you can't 
like you have to use old like a day old rice i'm making the rice now but i'm not actually gonna fry it until tomorrow um when i actually have my lunch because this is this food i'm making is meant to be for lunch tomorrow and the day after and maybe the day after i'm also defrosting a bag juice because i'm gonna have that with my dinner today i think we're ordering food today like chinese or something so i'm gonna eat that with that and these are my baby potatoes i've never made potatoes before so this is actually gonna be interesting oh and i have prawns as well to add to my fried rice. I'm basically making prawn fried rice with some beef and potatoes on the side. No, am I actually going crazy or what? Guys, I cannot find my phone. Where did I put my phone? I've checked every room in this house. So is it my mum's room? Why do I always lose this device? Wait, I'm confused though. I swear when you bake potatoes, you still have to boil them first, no? But this instructions, this recipe, doesn't say that, but let me go get it. Boiling your potatoes for a little bit before roasting helps make sure that you get that beautiful crisp crust on the outside. But I don't know how many potatoes I wanna, ugh, this stinks, bro. These potatoes are dirty, bro. Wait, do they come from the ground? I think they do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Come on, Dino. Guys, this is so good. I can't find. A pot of uh, lids that's the same size as this pan, so I'm just using this gigantic lid, which literally doesn't fit. Like, look, when I put it on that, on there like that, it literally doesn't fit. It's too big. But um, yeah, you gotta improvise. My mom's not here, and I don't know where the hell she put all the small pans. I mean, I, um, I mean the um, small pot lids. Washed potatoes. Where's Nima? Don't show me these people. Them. I don't care about them. Yes, he tied his hair back to bonds. Yum. Oh, look at that little Korean fan amongst the Brazilians. I feel bad. <laughs> Yum. Guys, you know apparently a football pitch is 100 meters, and I refuse to believe that's true. Like the the pitch just looks so massive. Like there's no way I could run that pitch in like. 15, 14 seconds, 13 seconds, however long it takes me to run 100 meters. It looks so big though, like how the heck is that 100 meters? It has to be longer. Yeah! <laughs> Guys, are you deep in with the way this man looks? Like, look at his face, look at his tattoos, look at his hair, look at his smile, look at his eyes, bro. Guys, I've seasoned up my um, potatoes. I don't know if I've seasoned it enough. I don't want to like over season it if it wants to focus so I can show you as well. And then I'm going to put it on this baking tray. That's too much. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, Brazil is winning 3-0. They scored again because they're just too lit, man. Right guys, I seasoned my meat, yeah, but basically yeah, I added too much browning by accident. This is what I use for my like meat, red meat and that. And I added too much and now my meat is black, so it's not actually supposed to be that dark. But anyways, the potatoes are in there. I think they're almost done, so I'm gonna fry this up. Guys, my potatoes are too like, they're burnt on the outside. <laughs> Slightly overcooked them, but that's all right. Oh my, do you want a bag juice? I actually have two. Do you want one? No, it's too cold, Natanya. She's such a bag juice hater. Mum, I have a red one ready for you. It's too cold. I don't want to be eating ice poles. It's not an ice pole. In the winter. I don't know how you have just been eating ice poles consistently. It's not an ice pole. It's bag juice. It's basically just washing. You have no idea what I'm cooking. You can literally see that it's potatoes yeah, and meat. How is it going to come together? Where's the, what, is that the sauce? Is it done? Yeah, it is done and it looks very nice actually. And then you can eat that rice. Fried rice. You're going to put fried rice in there? No, I'm going to make fried rice separately. With the potatoes and the meat. Mum, on my plate will be rice on one half, meat in another quarter, potato in another quarter. Why do you put the potatoes in with the meat though? Oh, because I just wanted them to be in the same flavours. You don't know because you're not a chef. You're not like me. Just because you've never seen it before. <laughs> you start expanding your, your recipe book love. Come here. Let me try some. I want to eat my rice. Let me try some. I'm going to do half and half. Mm. Is it nice? Oh my gosh, you got half. Water. Mum, you're going to find this too spicy. Is it that spicy? Mum, you're going to find this too spicy. Really? Mum. <laughs> you're going to find it too spicy. Are you sure? Because that is spicy. Oh, even mine. Why does mine smell like spice? I 
Oh, I'm tired. I'm very necessary. Mine is spicy as well. So just to put some rice on the plate. Could use some of my mum's fried rice as well. Mine's like orange. <laughs> Guys! Go away! <laughs> I'm just trying things on! Guys, look at this outfit my mum's trying to consider to go to work. There's what nothing is... wrong with this! Can we do the material of the clothing? This is nice. This is from Prima because it's actually very nice. But I'm thinking about just wearing it and not with the orange trousers because it's not going. And I'm naked underneath. No, the but no, but she put it together and she's like, hmm, this will look nice. And she's looking in the mirror, back and sitting in it. Like, what is going on I'm here? I'm just trying a, a combination of different things on at the same time. Oh my right gosh, no, her style. My mom's, me and my mom's style is completely different, as you can see. You would never catch me wearing this, mate. The next day. Guys, Chris Brown tickets are dropping in literally 10 minutes. Chris Brown is coming to London to perform at the ATM. Well, he's doing a Europe tour or whatever. And I haven't been to a cheeky concert in ages and I've never seen Chris Brown perform. Like, he came wireless, but I didn't even go on that day. But, um, yeah, so I'm thinking I want to go to a concert. And also, the concert's happening in February. And that's literally after my exam's finished. And if you sort of know the stress these semester one exams have been getting me through like bro i literally have an assignment that is due today at 12 o'clock which i need to submit but then i also have another assignment due in literally four days that i haven't even started so i cry every day obviously i want to treat myself to something to go to after my exams finish and obviously chris brown like i listen to some of his music not the biggest fan in the world i'll tell you that for free i'll prefer oh my god i would prefer if drake came to london guys you know if Guys, you know if Drake came to London, I would pay any amount of money. Tickets for Chris Brown came out yesterday, and I don't have OT priority, but my friend Lars just tried to get tickets for me, it didn't even work. So today, the Live Nation pre sale is happening, but the actual tickets, general release, drop tomorrow. So I'm gonna try to get the, the Live Nation one. I'm currently watching Tickets to Handle season four, which came out, but I've got my, I'm gonna have my, my iPad and my laptop ready i want um seat in tickets because i just i'm just not a fan of being in the crowd and being all squashed like wireless taught me that being standing is not cute man like why am i leaving my house looking one way and then leaving the concert looking another way that doesn't make any sense i should come home the same way i left the house just i just hate being in the crowd like my hair's being drag dragged left right and center i'm sweating people sweat oh my gosh d book here with all the boys like all the sweaty skin and armpits touching me like i don't like I just don't like being claustrophobic, do you know what I mean? Um, so it turns out, <laughs> turns out there was a queue that I was supposed to be in that I didn't know about. But let me join the queue on my iPad as well. Oh damn, I didn't know, I didn't know I had to join the queue. I thought I will just refresh the page and it will just be on there. This is where I want to sit. I want to sit like here, because it's quite close to the stage. This is making me a bit nervous, I can't lie. Like this whole countdown thing is making me feel like I'm buying trainers, like I'm in the sneakers, like waiting for trainers to drop. Because that's the kind of anxiety that these type of things put me through. Like why is it there counting down? I'm scared. Bro, how can on my phone it says there's 57K ahead of me? How is there 57,000 people? It better let me choose like specifically where I want to be because I've already decided the exact section of that concert that I want to be in. All right, I've already decided, and I promise you, I'm not sitting level four. If a level four is the only tickets available, I won't go because it's not that deep. 62 people ahead of me, right? What? Why is it taking me back to the start? Are you actually being for real? <laughs> oh, it is letting me. It is letting me. Okay, let's see what I can get. What do you mean, level four? No. <laughs> No, no, search again. No, why is it only giving me level one? Um, level four. No, I want level one. <gasps> okay, 107. Okay, that's. Oh, uh, you're gonna shout at me, but I literally did get good seats. 107 is like bang in the middle, but it's not what I want. So <laughs> we're gonna try again. <laughs> I want. I don't want 107. I want closer to the stage. Okay, so update the laptop. Literally, no matter how many times I try, it keeps on saying there's no tickets. Like even level four, like there's no tickets which is really making me regret not taking the 107 tickets because it was issue there but i just wanted to be on the sides okay i have accepted that i have not found tickets i'm actually a dumb girl because i realized i should have what i've done last time is when i found um why is it like that is when i found decent tickets but i didn't really want them but like they were okay like the 107 one i would 
keep it like i'll check it out and keep and you know how it has a timer i'll act like i'm gonna pay for it and keep on like using the timer that it gives and then another time i'll be trying for like a, different, a better ticket and then if I find a better ticket on another device then I'll scrap the first one that's what I was doing for D-Book Europe so I don't know why I just let the tickets go instead of just trying to check it out and just at least knowing that at least I have that as an option rather than just letting it go because now there's no tickets and I would rather have the 107 than no ticket at all obviously so I'm really annoyed with myself I don't know why I just let the ticket go I don't know why I didn't just put it in my basket but like, it was actually decent it's just that it wasn't close to the stage but it's still level one it's still better than level four so I fumbled the bag i'm not seeing chris brown which is very very flipping annoying so i actually wanted to go to a concert <sighs> no other artist is doing a concert anytime soon that i know about it so i'm actually so annoying two days later guys it's been snowing look look at outside it's literally been snowing and it's all settled the water was disgusting but it's literally snowing look at our balcony literally covered in snow last night I was at work and I got a text from my mum and she was like, oh, um, what time do you finish work? And I was like, 9.30. She was like, oh, it's literally pouring down the snow outside. There's bare snow outside. Your, snow, your car's going to be covered in snow because I drove to, halfway to work and I parked my car. And I'm thinking, what? Seriously? Like, I didn't really take it in. Came out of work with me and my friend Becca. Literally, everywhere was snow and I was so shocked. Like, literally, I came to work and it was a normal day. I got to work, left to work, and all of a sudden the whole floor is white, like thick snow, you know. And I was, thought it was pretty in that, but then when I got to my car, I was like, what the hell is going on? Because my whole entire car was covered in snow, and I've never had to deal with this. Guys, I've literally been driving for about six months. I've never had to drive in snow before. So literally, I had to um, get a plastic bag and push all the snow off my car, like literally. Then now I started trying to drive home. I wasn't far from home yet, but I started trying to drive home. All of a sudden, the skids logo thing was coming off my dashboard i had no control of the car like, i'll literally be driving and i'll be turning left and the car is moving right like i had no control like the wheel and the tires were like not connected like do you know what i mean it was so weird i was so scared i even pulled up for a second i called my mom i was like well my car's not working i don't know what to do and then um i managed to try and like get confidence to start driving again and i basically literally drove all the way home at 10 miles per hour in first gear because all that was happening i didn't even think about the fact that it's literally snowing outside and i should be going and take pictures so now i didn't take any pictures or like of myself or do any tiktoks while it was snowing which is very annoying but it's not snowing today but the snow is still here i am gonna quickly try and find I'm trying to figure out an outfit to wear so that I could try and take a picture while the snow is still here. I wanted a nighttime one though. I should have taken it last night because last night it was actually still snowing. But yeah, guys, um, the assignments that I was doing that was stressing me out, and making me want to cry every day. Finished it yesterday. It's due today. I've already submitted it. It's gonna be due at 12 o'clock. And now I feel free. Like I'm gonna this the whole day. This whole day was supposed to be like a break. Like I'm not doing any work today. Right, so guys, I've just come back from H&M. Literally had to turn up driving because we were supposed to take my mum's. Car. It turns out her car won't start because I think it's too cold. So we had to take my car, but thankfully they've like cleared the roads now, so the roads are normal. But I basically wanted to get a few things to go with the outfit that I'm trying to take pictures for. But because like the whole drama of my mum's car took up their time, I'm probably gonna have to go out and try to take it myself using a tripod. But yeah, I got a little armor in. Like this is so cute. It's got even got the little fun thing. This is not even just for a picture. This is gonna be good for when I'm driving. Because normally when I drive, I wanna wear gloves, but then because my fingers are not on the wheel, like my hand sometimes slips when I'm trying to change gears or like steer. So because my fingers are out, it's good. And obviously when I'm out and I wanna use my phone, my hands are warm, but my fingers are still out. And then I also got this thing that I've been seeing people wear, but I wasn't sure if I liked it. But it's like this hood. It's cute, I'm gonna try it on. I'm not actually supposed to be wearing long sleeve. Well, my tattoo is healing, so I've got to make this quick. I got these car, these parachute pants sent to me by Motel Rocks. But um, I know it's winter, but I actually wanna wear this cropped. And then, you slap this thing on. I'm supposed to leave for work in like two hours, but somewhere in that two hours, I need to take a power nap because I'm actually tired. I've been tired since the moment I woke up, can you imagine? I'll put it on inside, oh, I'll put it on inside out. This is how it looks. I don't know if I'm supposed to have my hair like back. Doesn't really matter. It's so cute. It's literally like a little hood. I like it. It's different, but I like it. I think it'll keep me warmer. I am gonna freeze, 100%, yep. I'm, I'm actually gonna freeze, but the fit is cute, the heck. I can't lie guys, surprisingly, I'm actually not cold. Like my whole stomach's up, but I'm actually not cold. But yeah, I'm gonna quickly go take the picture over here, where you've got all the trees and that in the background, it's cute. A few moments later. 
guys i'm literally walking back home now and when i tell you my fingertips i can't feel them like literally i don't know how long i've been out for i think i want to say i've been out for like 40 minutes because i left the house at three and it's like 3 40 3 45 now so i've been out i took pictures I took, i've done tiktoks i've done a whole bunch of stuff and then it's only just now i realized wait a second i'm actually cold and the thing is it's not really my body that's cold i can't lie like my whole stomach was out that whole time i did not feel cold like this is so weird like guys you know one of the reasons why i don't really take instagram pictures that much is because i hate like being cold and i don't have the patience to be standing and posing in the cold but then when it's flipping snowing i'm not cold but guys you know literally so many people are staring at me like all the cars that were driving by all the pedestrians they're all staring at me and for some reason i didn't give a heck like i'm one of those people that always cares about like vlogging in public or people think but i was literally set up the tripod took my picture and the reason i didn't care is because i'm like it only snows like once every 10 years in this country so if it's gonna snow i'm going to take advantage of it and i'm going to take my pictures and no one can tell me nothing i'm not going to be embarrassed because if i decided like oh i'm too scared i'm not going to take my picture then literally that means i'm going to have no picture in the snow for another 10 years i mean like you can't let other people affect you to that extent guys my finger i think i've actually started to hurt i think it might be frostbite I don't even know that's the right word, but like, they're sore, like, it's not even just cold, it actually hurts. <sighs> Get me inside. I really like this hood, like, this hood is such a vibe. I'm so tempted to wear it to work right now. Should I? I might, you know, it's actually really warm, like, it's actually really snug and warm, I like it. I might actually go to work exactly like this. <laughs> So guys, I literally just came back from work, so I'm gonna end this vlog here because it's literally been like, I've been vlogging for like two weeks. This vlog has not been a, oh, sorry. This vlog has not been a week vlog, but it's been like a two week vlog. So I'm gonna stop this one and probably start up another one. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, give me some video ideas because I'm at home. So any videos you wanna see my mum, I can only film them now, okay? So be commenting because i'm going back home in january so you better hurry up and comment on what videos you want me and my mom to do but yeah thank you for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys y'all better subscribe to my daughter's okay, channel mom, okay you don't subscribe to my daughter's channel oh.